Okay, so a question I get all the time in the comments is how do I diagnose uh, a motor issue or spinning or, or motor that's not spinning? So I happen to have a UR65 here that has a motor that isn't spinning. And, um, you know, I thought maybe it might be a bad motor, but it could also be the ESC. And a lot of times people wonder, well, how do you know if it's the motor or if it's the ESC? And, you know, I often answer the same question over and over again, so this is why I'm making this video. The simple answer to this question is swap the motor with a motor you know is spinning. So in this example, this left uh, uh, left rear motor here is not spinning, and this upper right motor here is spinning. Let me just show you that real quick. So you can see that there, which one is not spinning. So all you need to do to figure out this problem is swap the motors. And uh, I, I, I tell people that and they, they give me confused looks in the comments like they don't understand what I'm talking about. So basically all you do is take this motor and pull it out and swap it in for this one. Now of course in this one they have these motors have little plugs. I can just unplug them, unscrew the motors and swap them very easily. If in your particular quad, this, this diagnosis method will work with any quad. You know, you're just going to desolder the motor from your ESC and then swap it with the motor that you know is working. And that's all you got to do. So I'm going to go ahead and swap these, uh, swap these two motors, and then I'll come back and then we'll see if uh, the if it's a motor problem. So if I move this motor over to here and it starts spinning, then we know that the the motor is good and then this ESC is no good. And if this good motor moves over here and it's no longer spinning, they know that's an ESC. So go ahead and swap it and then we'll see what's going on. Okay, so I swap these two motors. I'm going to arm it again and see if uh, what the problem is now. Uh, my suspicion is that it's the motor, and so swapping the motor from here to here, I think this motor is actually going to not spin now. It was used to be over here, and I think it's going to be over here. You see that that my suspicion was correct. This motor is not spinning. This was the motor that was previously over here. And so it tells me that the board is okay. The ESCs on the board are okay. So this particular motor is it just happens to be dead. Now if I had moved the as I if I had moved the motor over here and it started spinning, that would tell me that the motor is good and that the ESC on this side was bad. So this is how you determine which component is bad, the motor or the ESC. So hopefully you found that video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.